technology, the truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my reaction to episode 0 and 1 of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check it out over there, and then come back here and let me know what you think in the comments section. If you are interested in seeing next week's reaction video, you can check out my Patreon. The link is also in the description. And you can check out all early access over there for every series that's here on YouTube. Okie dokie. So, um, we had some crazy, crazy episodes to start off with. I thought that when we got to episode one that it was continuing where episode zero left off but i was actually mistaken they were taking place simultaneously and we got to see the events of two different points of view of the current participants of the new holy grail war here and they all seem to be like they're young and um a lot of them seem to be descendants of the last holy grail war as well which is definitely really interesting like um, episode zero focused a lot around Sakura, and I know I asked in the um, reaction video who the voice actress of Sakura was. I, I couldn't tell in the first series because Sakura was so much younger, but now that she's older, I recognized her voice from a different anime right away, and um, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I don't know, I don't remember the voice actress's name, but I looked up the animes that I remember her from and she was from she was in Hunter Hunter she played Canary and that's in the 2011 version and she was also in my one of my absolute favorite animes um Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann as uh older or I should say teenage Dari so that was pretty cool to, to find out and um yeah so basically she is following in her father's footsteps and she wants to win the Holy Grail War, I guess just because, or maybe she wants to be the first Tosaka to do it, I don't know, but she doesn't seem to have any other motivation other than winning it itself, which is a reason, I guess, and it was enough to get Archer, her heroic, um, her heroic spirit, to follow her. Um, so that was definitely an interesting interaction there but uh she she's still like in cahoots with um kirei kotamine and i don't know what his role in this will be yet but he was working with her at the end of fate zero and i guess he's been training her for this moment and she was able to summon the archer class um, we don't know who this new heroic spirit is but um, he's definitely in the Archer class, which I find extremely interesting because her father also summoned in the Archer class. Um, but yeah, but she used like an unconventional way of summoning him, I guess. She didn't use um, like an artifact or anything. She used like these stones or beads or whatever the heck it was she was using. And she summoned him, but because she summoned him that way, he doesn't even remember who he is. But he is pretty badass. Um, I'm unclear of why these archer class don't actually use bows. They, especially this one, he seems to wield two dagger-like swords in his, in his hands. But he can summon them even when they break or get thrown out away from where he is. He summons more of them. So maybe that's what makes him an archer, that he has multiple? I don't know. But uh, definitely interesting. Maybe he'll have a bow later. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, so she summoned him, and later on in that episode, she was attacked by the Lancer of this series. And we don't know anything about him yet, except for the fact that Archer and eventually Saber, which I'll get into, no seems to know who he is. I don't think they mention us who he is yet, but uh, he's definitely got like a crazy side and i think it's due to his master um he said like my master's crude and my master wants me to do this and my master's a coward and wants me to do it this way so i'm not entirely convinced that his actions like 
stabbing Shiro was entirely like him and more him just following his orders as as a heroic spirit. So his master could probably be anybody at this point. If I have to guess, I'm thinking that his master's probably that Mato boy. I don't remember his name, but I'm guessing that's who his master is. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, Sakura's here again, and she has like a bruise on her hand, and I'm wondering if that means that she's gonna have a command seal at some point or, or whatnot, because that's kind of what happened to Shiro when he noticed that he was getting like a command seal and when all that was going down. But uh, yeah, so Lancer is like super fast, he stabbed Shiro, and then Reen brought him back to life with that power of whatever that necklace was. It was uh, her father's necklace. I, I don't remember what that necklace was in the first series. Maybe he used it to summon Gilgamesh or I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember, but um, she used it anyway and she brought him back to life. And then somehow Shiro was able to summon Saber and it was the Saber from Fate Zero. And she recognized his name when he said his name, and I'm wondering when or if she reveals to him that Kiritsugu, his adopted father, fought in the last Holy Grail War. Because it doesn't seem to me that he told Shiro anything about it, seeing as how he had no idea what a heroic spirit was, or why he was its master, or what the command seal was. Seems like he was completely blind with all of that. Um, another question I have, and if this is a, if this is a spoiler in any way, don't answer it. But that the markings on the ground where that were used to summon Saber were they there or did they appear there? It's kind of weird that they were just there and that Saber was summoned without him really doing anything. And I'm unclear is that's maybe something that Karitsugu left there I don't know again if this is a spoiler definitely don't tell me I would rather the show tell me but yeah so they were both able to summon their heroic spirits and now the season or I'm sorry the episode episode one ended with them like facing off with each other so I don't know I mean it could be anybody's game at this point. I was kind of rooting for Reen in episode zero, but Shiro's growing on me quite a bit as well, so I really don't know who to root for anymore. Um, there's also a bunch of other people in this that we haven't seen yet, so who knows? Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a great start to the series, and I really can't wait to see what comes next. Um, but yeah, I think that's... That's pretty much it on the story. I mentioned in the reaction video itself how much I like the artwork. It's what I've come to expect from the Fate series so far. I love their use of CGI, and I don't normally like CGI all the time in anime. I prefer the 2D drawing, but the CGI works really well in this in these series, and... It, and some of those fight scenes and some of the animation, it actually gave me some chills. And that was pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, but I think that's it for, for, this, for these episodes here. I can't wait to see what comes next. And I can't wait to find out more about what makes the Fate series so great. Because from what I gather from everyone in my comments, this is the main Fate series entry uh, right here. And... This is the one that's, that makes the show. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Chronic Gamer. Peace.